Now, what are we going to do today, Julie? We are making some upcycled wrapping paper. You know, I live in New York, and we get everything in boxes and packages, even my groceries. So it often comes stuffed with this packing paper, and I didn't want to put it to waste. Right. So I decided to make some wrapping paper. Waste not want not, right? Exactly. So you just smooth it out. You can even iron it if you're feeling a little bit, you know, If we have an iron. <laughs> and any holes or anything, you can tape them. Mm -hmm. And once it is nice and flat for you, thank you, you're just going to take a permanent black marker of some kind. Um, and I'm using one that happens to have a bullet tip on one side and then it has a chisel tip on the other side. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the bullet tip on this. Okay. And I'm just going to divide this into five segments with a double line between it. And, and I'm I'm, not, yeah, I love that you're not using a ruler. Yeah, I'm not worried about my lines being straight. I think the point of handmade is that it looks handmade, you know? So I just go ahead and divide it up. I'm not thinking about it. I'm not worried if I actually go to the edge, if the segments are even. It is what it is, you know? I like that idea. Me too. No mistake. Exactly. It's now, all about you. Most doodles are very, very simple designs. So for instance, an imperfect circle. And I'm just going to draw a whole bunch of these imperfect circles, making sure that I go a little bit off the edge here. And then I just do another imperfect circle inside. It doesn't matter if it's even or anything. I'm just having fun, playing around, having a good time. And boom, I've got a completed design in no time at all. You did that in about 10 seconds. I like exactly. it already. <laughs> And then I move on. Let's do some more messy lines and a couple more messy lines across. And immediately I have a grid going here. And again, it doesn't matter if I migrate into anywhere else. And I'm going to do the same thing I did here, which is an echo, right? A circle inside a circle, mm -hmm. a square inside a square. You just keep playing and having fun. This is a great thing to do with your kids. You know, it's something fun to do in front of the TV. Well, I like it, especially for children, because they don't. Have, it doesn't have to be perfect. No, and you know what? I think encouraging people not to be perfect in art makes them remember that in other parts of their life, right. they don't have to be perfect either. So I'm just dividing the squares up like this. You can see how easy it is. And again, nothing hard about this. Now we're going to move on to something that I think people get a little intimidated by, which is drawing flowers. And I'm going to show you how very easy it is. <laughs> So you simply take half a circle, mm -hmm. right? And then I do three little, I guess what you would call fingers, something okay. like that. I finish up my circle, and I just draw a stock on it. And then I have a poppy. Totally done. That is really awesome. Really easy. And then I can do it now, of course, at all other angles, as if it were going to continue this way. Uh -huh. I can draw a random stalk or stem as if it were coming in there. Maybe do another one here. And again, perfection is overrated. You know, perfect people are boring. Well, and that's so very, very drawings. true. Yes. So the next one, again, very easy. Uh -huh. We're just going to do a triangle. And here's the thing that I know, which is one of anything is great, but a million of something is really satisfying. So you see that if we just fill it in with lots and lots and lots of triangles, you start to have a pattern. That's cool, because if you just do one thing, your eye kind of settles on that, but if yeah. you've got lots, it kind of goes it all over all the place. Over. And so now we're just going to draw a line and a couple scallops. Easy enough. And you can just continue that design. And then I happen to have one here for the magic of TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's already all doodled, and you can see all my designs out there. So now we're going to add some watercolor paints. And I have a very expensive paint palette here, you know, Hard to come by. Mm -hmm, definitely. Now, these are watercolors that happen to come in a tube. They're the same as regular watercolors, except that you can use them straight from the tube, and they're very intense. But when they dry, you can reactivate them just with a little bit of water. And today, I'm going to put out the three primary colors, which are yellow, red, and blue. And I just want to show you how easy it is to use just three colors to really dress up your project. So we're just going to add accent colors. So I just have a brush, and I'm going to load it up with water, and then poppies are red. So we're just going to paint, and again, we're not going to worry about being perfect. I'm just going to get sloppy and messy. And just and go right outside those have lines. Have a good time yeah. with it, man, you know? So I'm just going to go ahead and rub it around, get some accent colors in there, and then... Yes, you can paint the design in, but how about with the triangles? What if we paint the background in? And that is actually going to pop those uh -huh. triangles forward. 
So if I paint the background, and again, I'm just being messy, I'm using lots of water, and I can do it on top of this brown paper. People get nervous about painting, especially with a transparent something like uh -huh. watercolor. They get nervous about painting on top of it, but And it's also ahead. really important that that is a permanent marker, right? Otherwise, yes. you have, have black smudges, which actually yes. might look really cool. I think so. Very artistic, very fun. And um, so I'm just going to keep painting this in, and you can see how painting the background also gives it some color, mm -hmm. right? Now, another thing that I like to do is you don't always have to paint within the lines for real, for real. And what I mean by that is, what if I decide in this area to just do some dashes? Oh, that's you know? cool, yeah. Just because mm -hmm. you didn't doodle something doodly, there. Doodle with your brush and your doodle paint. With Let your me brush. ask you something, though, yeah. Julie. If you uh, just did it, this design here, mm -hmm. like all over yellow, mm -hmm. and then you, you could add the blue to the triangles, that, that exactly. would be green then, right? Exactly, let's do that. So here you go. We can add some blue in the triangles, or if we mix it in, you can see how you're getting your green right there. That's cool. Okay, Isn't now cool? we've done this great paper. Yes. Now what are we going to do with it? Well, dun dun dun. <laughs> here is the fabulous finished paper, which I think looks so cool. And you can see that I've used it for two things over here. One, I've wrapped a package with it and even made a little bow to go it's on beautiful. top. Totally cute. And the other one is you can actually, of course, make your own paper. I've put it on a scrapbook layout here, which I, is super fun. Yeah, and then you've actually done the little border design on the bottom yeah. also with the wrapping paper. Exactly. And then I wanted to show, because a lot of people get the white packing paper. So I did a butterfly design here, and you can see it's half painted just so I could show people what it looks like when it's doodled. And again, you don't have to paint it. You could just leave it doodled. And then I have a flower design, which if you really don't want to stay within the lines, I didn't even worry about the design. I, I love just that. did the background. I can see that frame. Hey, Julie, thank you so much. Thank you. Stay with us. We'll be right back.